The Statue of Liberty by Louise Rechtbenner and illustrated by Jada Rowland. Thank you, Scholastic, for making this wonderful book. A lady stands in New York Harbor. She is as tall as a skyscraper. She is called the Statue of Liberty. Liberty means freedom all over the world. People dreamed of coming to America to find freedom. People came by ship. The trip took many days. Men, women, and children were crowded together. They were tired, hungry, and scared. The Statue of Liberty was a present from the people of France to the people of the United States. A Frenchman made the lady. His name was Frederick Bartholdi. He copied his mother's faith for the statue. How beautiful she was. First, Frederick made a small statue, then a bigger one, then an even bigger one. The last statue was so big, it could not even fit in his workshop. He had to make it in pieces. He made the right hand holding the torch, then he made the head. Each finger was longer than a man. Each eye was as big as a child. Frederick needed lots of help. His helpers worked in a big room. They took the pieces outside and put them together. She was higher than all the buildings, much higher. Workers took the statue apart. They packed it in 214 crates. A ship carried it from France to New York. In America, the people were building a high pedestal for the lady to stand on. But they ran out of money. The work stopped. No one knew what to do. Joseph Pulitzer owned a newspaper. He had an idea. Joseph said, the statue needs a home. I will print the name of everyone who gives money to help. Thousands of people sent nickels and dimes. Children sent pennies. Soon there was enough money. Now, workers could finish the huge pedestal. They set the lady on top of it. A big French flag was draped over her face. On October 28, 1886, the people of New York had a parade to welcome her. The President of the United States made a speech. Frederick Bartholdi was excited. He raced up a staircase inside the statue. Up and up he went to the very top. Frederick looked down. A boy was va waving a white handkerchief. It was a single signal. Frederick pulled a rope and the flag fell. There was a lady. Hip hip hooray. Cannons boomed. Boat whistles blew. People cheered. The excitement never ended. Today, more than a hundred years later, the Statue of Liberty still welcomes people to America, the land of the free. The Statue of Liberty. All over the world, people dream of coming to America. When they arrive, someone special is waiting for them. She stands in New York Harbor, lighting their way. Read all about her. The End.